look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easy to trigger, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to be talking to you about Is something that's kind of outrageous First off, let me say this first That I am against all forms of hate crime And stuff of that nature but what I have to tell you is extremely important in my most humble opinion. And it's, it is the fact that there are members of the LGBTQIA community. The particular group is the T's, the ones who identify as transgender. Okay. These individuals will go on dates with heterosexual men and conceal the fact that they are transgenders. They are not giving the gentlemen that they are trying to date the opportunity to know what they are getting into until many dates later or to the point to where they are getting intimate so this is an educational video this is a documentary that is documenting how it is in a dating scene now in america now let me go ahead and pull up these clips so you can see for yourself because i think this is really wrong what these certain individuals are doing Why you shouldn't tell men that you're transgender? Straight men. It's because they will judge you beforehand and probably not go on the date with you. Some people might argue that they're not worth your time if they don't want to date you if you're trans, but no, because you might literally miss out on the love of your life and the love of their life because they might have the preconceived notion of what trans is, trans is in their head. Man in a wig. They're going to be called gay. They're going to be shunned from society, from their family, whatever. But that might not be the case if you get to go on the date with them first, wow them and actually show them who you are as a human being first, rather than sexuality, sexualness, whatever the fuck. Like, you just want to be seen first. Actually have the opportunity to, because you deserve to, because you're a woman. Gay men don't find... Women now I want you to understand Gone are the days Where you can really identify A person who is a cross dresser Or a transgender Because of all the different type of surgeries That these individuals are going through now They have something I believe is called Feminine surgery for their face They do stuff to their face And their neck so you can't really see the Adam apple No more They damn near look like 100% women As we consider women to look like okay now let me call this some bullshit what this transgender person is saying to you she says well i for me i don't your pronouns are your pronouns i've come from a different generation and i mean no disrespect to any one of this community but i'm going to speak from my religious point of view or should i say from how i was raised this man who identified as being a woman or a transgender this person says that they should not tell a heterosexual male that they are a transgender, that they were born as biological men when they was born. And they don't see a problem with that. So let me do it like this. You don't think that that's a problem. You think it's okay to withhold important information like that from a person. That is no different than a person who has HIV or full-blown AIDS dating someone and not disclosing that to them. You will want a person who has a terminal or a potential deadly disease to let you know that if you are dating that person who has the deadly disease like HIV or even herpes or something like that, you will want them to tell you so you will have the opportunity to make a decision whether or not you want to go forward with that. That is only fair. That is what is right to do. You don't want a person to hold that type of information back from you, do you? So why do you think it's okay for you to hide the fact that you was born a male? Even though you identify as a woman or identify as a transgender or whatever you decide that you are, okay? 
that type of information to a heterosexual man is extremely important. It is unfair for you not to tell a heterosexual man that you are a transgender. We want to know what it is that we are getting into. We want to have the opportunity and the right to know, the right to understand, the right to choose if we want to date you or not. When you start out deceiving, that means you're going to be deceiving him throughout the relationship, throughout the dating, throughout everything until y'all break up. That means you start out with a lie. And yes, you can be a liar through omission. Just because you did not say a blatant lie to a person does not mean that you are not lying. All you have to do is withhold information. Don't volunteer information to mislead a person. That is still considered to be deception, deceit, lying. That is still considered to be the actions of a liar. And the way that you are talking, even though you don't believe it or not, it displays how malice you are, how wicked you are how selfish you are because the fact that you don't want to reveal that to a person who is genuinely who is genuinely looking for someone to date or to love or to marry from the beginning shows me how selfish you are all you care about is yourself okay there's no excuse for you not to let the person know what you are just like there's no excuse for a person to date somebody with the herpes or any other std syphilis hiv it doesn't it's not fair it's not right to the of the person that is wrong that is wicked that's wicked okay that's evil in my most humble opinion that is evil that is not right let's keep going practice so i just don't get it boy y'all better be careful y'all better be careful who it is y'all now when you vet, you can't just vet like you used to, trying to see if they have any mental issues or if they have financial problem or bad credit. Now you have to vet them by asking them, what is your sexuality? What were you born at? Okay? Did you come out with male genitalia? You have to vet people like this now. I'm not done yet. Because some of these people you cannot tell. I didn't tell my boyfriend I was trans until the third date. We met two months ago at a restaurant. I was having a little friend date and he was the waiter and we noticed each other right away. We kept flirting and at the end of the dinner, I gave him my number. The next day, we FaceTimed each other all day. After that, we went to dinner, cute little picnic. We had so much fun together and I just wanted him to get to know me. On around the third date, I got to know him. I, I felt like he was really mature and that he- Again. You're being selfish. You don't want to reveal the truth because you want him to get to know you. I'll go back to my same analogy. I want you to get to know me. Let's say, for example, like a person, any person has HIV, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, or anything like that of that nature. And I want you to get to know me. I don't want to tell you that I have these things. I want you to know the real me. Because what you're trying to do is get them to get emotionally invested in you so it'd be harder for them to pull away from you. That ain't nothing more but manipulation. That ain't nothing but a tactic that a manipulator will use. That is gaslighting. Okay, that is love bombing. Because with this right here, they're going to be, I love you. You're so pretty. You're so handsome. Oh, you're so fine. Love bombing. You get what I'm saying? That is manipulation. That is the tactic of a person that is deceitful. So I don't, that's, this go for any gender who does this type of stuff. When you hold back, pertinent information that is important to the other person that you're trying to date is wrong okay y'all can say what the fuck you want to say that is wrong period he could understand at that point i was zero scared i finally told him and he knew <gasps> turns out he found me on instagram and he wanted to give me the chance to tell him he had a trans brother so he knew i was deceiving him I'm getting surgery soon and I have a feeling he's going to be the biggest supporter and just help me recover. It's so cool because we have such a good chemistry. We do literally everything together. We're, I'm literally going to the club with him right now. Speaking of, this is the outfit. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. But it's the truth. You have to tell people what you are. Okay? End of story. 
but things can happen to you when you don't. And I'm going to pull that up in a minute. But you're going to, I'm going to show you uh, one of them who's going to tell you something happened to him because they were trying to lie and hide. And they, and she, or the transgender got intimate with the person. And I'm going to, we'll get to that. Hold on. Let's play this first. Okay, so people are really going to disagree with me on this, but I don't think trans people are obligated to tell the people that we're dating that we're trans. At least not right away. Think about it. In the context of dating and in society in general, cis people aren't expected... All right, I'm going to stop you right there. Let me get that right now. I come from a generation where there's no such thing as cis this and cis that. I was raised, grew up religiously, in this belief that there's only a man and a woman, okay? So, as you just like you don't want people to bully you, don't you bully me or people who think like me, all right? Heterosexual men, do not ever call me a cis anything. Do not call me a cis man. I am a full man with nuts. I am a man. I am not a cis. That's damn near like saying sissy, okay? I know that's what's going on with them now in their community. Say it among yourself. But when you meet Mr. Hill, do not you don't you ever call me cis man, okay? I will set you straight right in and there. Because I don't believe the way you believe and you don't believe the way that I believe. And this is not hateful rhetoric. This is not me putting you down. This is not me bashing the the individuals of the LGBTQIA community. I'm not saying nothing. I have to say that it's it's terrible that I gotta say stuff like that. I gotta say that because in my humble opinion, that community is the community that gets offended the most out of anybody on the group you can't make jokes about them you can't have an opinion about them you can't do any of that if you do they're going to attack you in my most humble opinion that's where it comes across to me and that's just my opinion okay but i'm telling you run one thing that is not my opinion i am not a fucking cis man i am a man okay now i can get along with any member of the lgbtqia community i have no issues with you okay but when you disrespect me, my issue is if you disrespect me, if you try to push your propaganda, your narratives upon me, okay? No, I'm not having that. I'm not supporting that. I am a man, okay? And I had no problem. I, I see um, transgenders all We're in Houston, right? They're everywhere. There's a place called Montrose out here, and they all over the place out there, all right? And I had conversations with them. I have no issues with them. They nice. They can be very nice. When they talk to you, they're very respectful and stuff like that. So I don't have no issues with you. But the reason I made this video is I want the gentleman to be aware, especially the younger gentleman, of what is out there. Because these three clips I'm playing of these transgenders, all of them look like 100% women. Okay? And if you did not know then you would say, damn, they are fine. Because they look like fine-ass women. Let's just, let's just call it for what it is. Doesn't mean that you are not heterosexual because you said that because you are observing what I'm seeing here. They are not bad looking, but you need to know if you are dealing with one or not. That's only fair. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with wanting to know who you're dealing with? Let's keep going. Did to disclose private, sensitive, intimate details about what they have between their legs before they even meet people and right up front. I mean, I'm not on dating apps asking dudes how big their dick is so I can decide whether or not I like them before even giving them a chance. That has nothing to do with genitalia in that regard, okay? You see how they, they, are, they are deflecting and gaslighting, okay? <coughs> that made no damn sense. I'm not asking anybody about if they have big dicks or not. To descend. No, that's not the same thing as you hiding the fact that you are not what you are trying to pretend to be to another person now when i say that you believe what you are okay but when you are not revealing the truth of who you are to another person then to the other person you are pretending to be someone else you get what i'm saying because you're coming across to a heterosexual person as being heterosexual and when you are misleading them or allowing them to think that then you are making you are pretending to them okay all right let's keep going i'm gonna put something else up there I'm going to show you, um, I got to turn the music down for this one a little bit, I think. Um, one of the people almost gotten, almost lost their lives. They were um, almost deleted. She, I'm going to let the transgender tell you so you don't think I'm telling you. Let me find it right quick. Here it is. I almost lost my life. Um, 
a long time ago because I tricked the guy and she gave fellatio to a heterosexual man see this is how you can be um not knowing if this is one of those um, transgender or not because i guess if you're not actually you know having the act of sex with them or something but if they look like a woman like they doing and they face like these clips are and they want to you know give you fellatio low fellatio give you head or whatever like that you really won't know until after they reveal it you see what i'm saying this person almost was unalive because of this. Let's keep going. I almost lost my life um, a long time ago because I tricked the guy and... Huh? No. We were out and then somebody like noticed who I was. I went to high school with and he told them you know that's the guy, right? I really, really, I'm, I, I'm surprised I'm still alive right now because surprised that he's still alive because you gave head to a person and that person thought that you was a heterosexual and someone recognized you and revealed who you are. You should have revealed who you were in the beginning. Now, let me show you a nine-second clip of a woman or a transgender. That is bragging about the fact that someone heterosexual spent eight thousand dollars on them. There ain't gonna be no signs. You're gonna be walking with a caption. You'll see it. Let's play it now. Do you read that? He said that he spent over eight thousand on them. That don't know that the person is a transgender. Here's another one I'm gonna play of a person. Who's on a date with a person? No sound in this, of course. Unfortunately, except my music. You'll see it. Let's play it now. One second. I'm trying to find it. Read the caption. It says, I haven't told him I'm trans. I'm nervous. What if he doesn't accept me? But he's on a date with the transgender. See how he, transgender looks just like a woman. Okay, you see it? There you go. Now let's get back to the sound. One second. Now, this one has a lot of sense. I, I really respect this transgender based on what the transgender is saying. I want you to hear what this this one actually tells, really agrees with me, to be honest with you. Let's get it. I am a champion for women. And that does not mean that I discredit my trans sisters or my community. But I'm a champion for women because guess what my mama is? A woman. Mm -hmm. Guess what their mother is? A woman, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm a female impersonator proudly, you know, I call myself a trans woman, female impersonator because I'm not a woman. Even if I remove my, I'm not going to be, a, to me, my opinion, because you know, y'all, I won't be a woman. I mean, we, we're talking science. Yeah, I won't be a That's woman. That's not an opinion. I'm talking heart. <laughs> I'm talking uh, DNA. I'm talking mind. Women and men are very different on the inside. And the reason I know that because I've dealt with women. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of the problem too, Tasha. A lot of people have not been in a, not, not sexually with a woman, but intimately with a woman. So they won't understand that how a woman feels because no matter what I present, make me angry, he show up. Just like most of my trans sisters. That's why you see him on the damn thing. Mm -hmm. You hear that? When they get upset, when they get emotional, the man that is in them shows up. That's what this person said. This is what Flame, the, the person's name is Flame Moreau, a transgender. And that person just told you, when they get in their emotions, the masculinity that is really in them shows up. You see what I'm saying? You heard it from one yourself. You can't say I'm bashing nobody. You're hearing it from a member of the LGBTQIA plus community. You're hearing it from the T in that community. You're hearing it from the transgender who is saying it themselves. Flame Moreau says that no matter what this transgender put on, boobs and everything, that deep inside, that transgender is still a man. This is what Flame Moreau said, a self-proclaimed transgender. Mm -hmm. You get mad and they snatch their wig off. I'm still a motherfucking man. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't me. It was somebody else. But I, if you're intimate in an intimate setting, and that don't mean sex, but you get to understand how a woman feels or thinks and, because we don't think like women. 
And women will always be in full submission to man. And they're loyal as hell. And I tell everybody that all the time. Like I told T.S. Madison, I will always be under what God says. Full submission to man first. Oh, I ain't fully submitted to a man <laughs> since 92. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. That shit is weird. But anyway, I just want to put that out there as a warning, as a disclaimer for everybody out there. So I think it's only fair to let this information be put out in the public because I think we need to address that issue. That's very important. A lot of, um, unfortunately, a lot of um, transgender have been deleted because of the fact that they have um, hidden their past from a heterosexual male. And I don't want no violence to be done to them. I don't want no one to harm them. We have no right to harm anybody because of a certain belief. Okay. So again, I'm against hate crime. I'm against all hate crimes, all racism. Okay. No one has the right to hurt anybody or take anyone's life because they are upset at them. But we have to be realistic. Not everyone thinks like that. Not everybody thinks like that at all. Okay? So whenever you do something, make sure you do it with honesty, transparency, no deception. Keep yourself safe out there. Keep yourself safe out there. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be safe out there. I'll talk to you later. You hear? Take it easy. 